Good looking welds with the Titanium 125. I know, yet another. I still got mine over on the workbench going on almost five years. So let's show you a new one and how to get started in welding. If you have never touched a welder before, touched a welder, that does not sound good. If you are brand new to welding, then yes, read the instructions. There's little tidbits in there that do help you out. For example, extension cord. Don't use an extension cord. Except you actually can if you get a thick enough gauge wire. So, you know, just pick up a 10 gauge extension cord and you can run it just fine. In the little baggie on top, you've got an extra contact tip. It's 0 .030 and two flux core nozzles. That's nice, two of them, except I'll show you a little tidbit in a minute where if you use some nozzle gel, you actually will never need to replace this, maybe. I'm not gonna say never, but just for example, this is the same one I've had on my original for four and a half years. So it works. Couple things to know out of the box. They give you yet another flux core nozzle. These suckers must be super cheap to make. So either way, you get three of them. And I was really hoping they were gonna have upgraded the ground clamp by now. They haven't. This is like bare bones, the very cheapest you can get. So if you wanna make an upgrade, the very first one you should do is the ground clamp. But if you take note, I'm still using the same one with my original. So not, I guess, that big of a deal. Moment of truth, which I highly doubt, uh, yep. No wire. I was really hoping they were gonna add wire back in. They haven't. You do get a strap though. So yes, on my original one, you did get wire. <sighs> Since they did not add wire, just a couple things to note. Do not get the copper looking stuff that is solid core for MIG welding. You wanna pick up the silver or gunmetal look, I guess, to it. This is flux core or inner shield wire. Uh, just go with the what they have the contact tips for, which is 0 .030. Um, you could maybe get different contact tips and put in a thicker wire or thinner wire. Just don't get a 10 pound spool. As you can imagine, it ain't gonna fit up there on top. So two pound spool flux core wire is needed to get going at a minimum out of the box. Turn around from the checkout. Just, you will also want some welding gloves, pick up the cheapest ones they've got and a auto darkening helmet. Doesn't have to be this one. Auto darkening, keyword, you'll thank me later. Adding the wire is super simple and it does give you some instructions underneath the hood. Release the idle arm. Ensure the wire diameter showing on the feed roller matches the wire size. While holding wire securely, cut the end. Do not let go. Trust me, you'll lose half your spool. Don't forget to turn it on. And I actually like taking off the contact tip just to make sure that it does flow out freely. Then you will press either the cold feed switch or you can pull the trigger, it's okay. And we are ready to go. Three to five minutes and we're ready to weld. Welding uses electricity. So we are using our steel metal piece to create or close that loop. So you have to connect your ground to either the workpiece or if you got a metal table, well, just connect it to that. Now, as mentioned earlier, um, if you want to save your nozzle and contact tips, I get nozzle gel, a uh, link in the description. You simply just dip it in every once in a while and really that is it. The little balls or spatter that collects from flux core, those will just brush right away. And then for your workpiece, you can add spatter spray as well. Even though the spatter doesn't affect the weld strength itself, these two just give you a nice weld to show off. We are so close, but another really important thing would be the actual settings. And I've got some eighth inch plate that I'm gonna be doing here. So up underneath the hood, it gives you suggested settings. So for eighth inch, I'm at a wire speed of six and then E.5 to F.5.
Now, as far as laying down the weld, obviously you gotta pay attention to your stick out, speed, technique, all of the 50 things you gotta think about while welding. The settings, I mean, are perfect. I would, would not change those off of what the machine says. And check out the weld, it's turning out awesome. For the price and these welds you can get out of it, honestly, this machine can't be beat. That's all I got. I'm Mechmaster. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.